Tina Shively's been driving around in the KVU Storm Chaser, monitoring many of these closings. She joins us now from Joe Tanner Lane in Oak Hill. Tina? Good morning to you, Brian and Corey. Yeah, we have stopped. We are standing in South Austin right now at one of the hot spots that we always visit when we get lots of heavy rain like this, Williamson Creek. And behind me, this is Joe Tanner Lane this morning. You can see the water over the road here, not flowing certainly as fast as we've seen it before, but enough to do this, to close the road down. You can see this barricade here. It's one of many we've seen this morning. Um, Close to 200 low water crossings shut down around the Austin area because of dangerous water over the road like this. So take heed on that sign, turn around, don't drown. Well, as you mentioned, we've been driving around this morning in our storm chaser. Gives us a really good perspective of uh, what the roads look like and everywhere we can be. And we can show you every angle from every camera. I also want to show you something else pretty neat that the storm chaser has. This is our weather data real time display. So we were talking about. 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts in Round Rock this morning. You can see the wind speed here where we're standing steady is only at 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. We're seeing it go down. So now down to zero. So it gives it in perspective. It also shows us our temperature here. We've got 64.8 degrees and also our humidity, 94 degrees. So definitely a ponytail day out there, a bad hair day for us this morning. So kind of a neat thing to see all these uh, storm chaser bells and whistles this morning and uh, we'll be continuing to drive around to uh, check out the roads for everyone who has to make the morning commute. Brian and Corey, back to you.